Good morning, good afternoon, maybe good evening. It depends on where you're viewing this uh, session in our XR event. Welcome to the TARDIS. That is what we call the demo center here in ESI Group's North American Operations. My name is Eric Kahn. I am a product marketing manager, a member of the solutions marketing team. And today what I would like to show you is a bit more about extended reality and especially the XR3 from Vario and how it's been integrated with ICI Do and how that's going to help augment your future workflows. But before I can get started, I got to go ahead and put the headset on. Pardon me while I go ahead and give you an uncomfortable close-up of my face and then also a little bit of motion sickness as I put the headset on my melon. All right, so here we are inside the TARDIS. And as I take a quick look around, you can see the messiness of all this computer equipment, some camera rigs over here, and just right in front of me right now, this is the, uh, well, it's a wheel loader. It's an imaginary wheel loader that I want to do a quick validation of, you know, what is it like to be a human operator who is in charge of, you know, doing some assembly or production task or maybe some service task. And I want to validate how appropriate is the design of the product as well as the definition of the processes that we would use to perform that job. So first thing I want to do is give you a little bit of a layout of what's going on here inside of the, uh, the lab. Pardon me, I'm just going to untangle myself from the cord and that's a cool thing I can do with the uh, the XR3 capability and mixed reality is that I can see the floor I can see the feet my feet and I can actually see the cords and I can see some real objects in the room in addition to some virtual objects one of the real objects in the room is this little yellow and black bar that I have suspended in between these two tripods and this is to provide me with a very credible very realistic physical representation of what I would have to be reaching over or reaching into in order to do this job. But before I can get started, I'm going to have to go ahead and open this up and make sure that my simulation is running. So I'm going to go ahead and set simulation running. And now I can reach in grab that door, swing that door open. And just as everyone would expect, right, this door is a physically jointed, physically simulated object. It does open up until I actually bump into that virtual object. I also have to remember, oh wow, a dialog box popped up on my screen. I better get rid of that because otherwise that's gonna spoil my demo today. Don't wanna see that dialog box again and hopefully that should do it. Alright so now that I've got that door open and let's go ahead and make that door stop colliding quite so severely and let's talk a little bit more about what happens when we've integrated this whole idea of the pass-through camera and the compositing that we get with ICI Do and the power of the XR3. So now what I have is I have that physical bar that I mentioned before and that gives me just a kind of a physical reference of the opening into this engine compartment and then I can reach my hand into the engine compartment and one of the things that I see is that every time my hand ducks in behind a physical object. So like in this case, I'm just reaching past the sheet metal that represents this opening. And I can actually see my hand visualized through that grating that would normally be inside of those louvers that would let me see inside. But my hand is being occluded anytime my hand is deeper into the virtual scene than the virtual object. So here my hand is further away. As I bring my hand forward, my hand comes into the foreground, and now you can see that this is, in fact, the foreground image. As I push my hand away, you can see now my hand has disappeared. It's fully occluded by the virtual geometry, and that means that my hand is further away than that virtual geometry. So what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to stand here and with my hands kind of, you know, resting here, be able to validate what can I reach? How far into the engine compartment is it practical and is it feasible for me to do my job? So immediately I can go ahead and let's see whatever this object is. I'm not sure what it is, but I can reach the top of it. I can just barely reach that hose, but there's a very tight gap between the hose top and the top of that case. So that's kind of a tight fit in there if I had to get my hand in there. 
If I had to grab any of these hoses, again, you can see my hand is disappearing behind the hose object. That means that the hose is closer to me than my hand is. And then as I bring my hand closer, that means I can certainly grab onto the hose in that location. So among the things that I might be concerned with is, can I get these filter elements out of the inside of this engine compartment? So right now I can see my hand is kind of scooping underneath, and then I do get my hand around the bottom of that filter. So if I had to use my hand to thread that filter loose, I have sufficient clearance in here for me to be able to do that job. And those are the kind of things that we're learning just at a moment's glance, just by the instant that I'm in VR and I'm perceiving the virtual world and my physical world together. And I'm getting immediate feedback on, will that be difficult to reach? Now, unfortunately, that's not normally enough for us to actually like authorize or validate that final process. But I did learn immediately what were the challenges that I was going to face in reaching that. And if it was going to be a challenge for me at five foot six, just a little bit under the 50th percentile for most people, um, that would be 165 centimeters, 167 centimeters, I think, is my actual height measured in metric. But then I know if it's tricky for Eric to reach, if it's difficult for me to reach, then chances are it would be worth my while to get a, a, another kind of like measurement in here, whether that meant doing the due diligence with the Ramses mannequin or doing the due diligence and snapping a couple measurement points, I'm going to be able to evaluate or diagnose right away just through this composite mixed view whether or not something's challenging enough that I have to do that extra layer of due diligence and discovery. So again, I can go in and I can just reach into that scene. All right, pull those hoses in and out of the way if necessary. Get those filter bodies out. and get that feedback that I normally expect from a, phys uh, a fully physically simulated and fully virtual version of an ICI do session. But I did so with this mixed reality benefit of being able to first do that, you know, physical interaction. Can I get my hand on it just, you know, visually with this compositing view? Is my hand in reach? Can my hand actually get to the space where that would be? And then, doing that full simulation, bring that filter body into location and see if I can actually get that to its final assembly home. All right, so this ability to mix what I perceive and what belongs to me in the real world and you know, just put that remote control down with full confidence on a physical table here in the room or quickly check my cell phone and see that it's already a little bit after four on Monday, which means I'm trying to record this, this live demo um, with barely two days before the XR demo or XR event, and hopefully I didn't screw that too badly. Reach it, load it, and install it. Turn it, use it, or remove it. Reach it, load it, and install it. Turn it, use it, or remove it. Can the motor be installed? Will the cables be too small? Is Janae a bit too tall? Can I see and do it all? I see I do need to use it. Can a human really do it? I see I do need to use it. Can a human really do it? Is the same plane safe to build? Are the spaces overfilled? Will my back require a pill? Will assembly fit the bill? See it, grab it, and I do it. Wanna bother? Have to prove it. See it, grab it. Will the two and fit the line? Can we do this job in time? Replace RAM and all in time. Bird of economics, hard to grind. I should I do and install it. Can a human really do it? I should I do need to use it. Can a human really do it? Reach it, load it, and install it. Turn it, use it, or remove it. Reach it, load it, and install it. Turn it, use it, or remove it. Reach it, load it, and install it.
install it, turn it, use it, or remove it, reach it, load it, and install it, turn it, use it, or remove it. Can the motor be installed? Will the cables be too small? Is Janae a bit too tall? Can I see and do it all? I see I do need to use it. Can a human really do it? I see I do need to use it. Can a human really do it? Is the same plane safe to build? Are the spaces overfilled? Will my back require a pill? Will assembly fit the bill? See it, grab it, and I do it. Wanna bother? Have to prove it. See it, grab it, and I do it. Want a product? Will the tool and fit the line? Can we do this job in time? Replace room and all in time. Bird of economics, hard to grind. I see I do and solve it. Can a human really do it? I see I do need to use it. Can a human really do it? Reach it, load it, and install it. Turn it, use it, or remove it. Reach it, load it, and install it. Turn it, use it, or remove it. Reach it, load it, and install it. Turn it, use it, or remove it. Reach it, load it, and install it. Turn it, use it, or remove it. Can the motor be installed? Will the cables be too small? Is Janae a bit too tall? Can I see and do it all? I see I do need to use it. Can a human really do it? I see I do need to use it. Can a human the same plane safe to build? Are the spaces overfilled? Will my back require a pill? Will assembly fit the bill? See it, grab it, and I do it. Want a product? Have to prove it. See it, grab it, and I do it. Want a product? Have to prove it. Will it the tool and fit the line? Can we do this job in time? Replace room and all in time. Bird of economics, hard to grind. I should I do it.